All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back for another FFT AI battle. So on top, we have uh, uh, Melissa and Scotty's duo team uh, based off of uh, The Witcher. And then, uh, we, or War, well, not The Witcher, uh, Warcraft 3. And then uh, my uh, then we have my team on bottom, which is basically based on the Aragon series, the book series. So I want you to see it. So we got Frostworm, the Blue Dragon, Frost Mage, the Wizard, Lich King, the Lancer, and Ice Troll, the Thief. Uh, and now for my team, we have Saphir the Blue Dragon, Aragon the Samurai, Murtag the Ninja, and Durza the Lancer. So when I made this team like 35 minutes ago, I did it in 10 minutes. And I kind of forgot that um, Melissa had an ice-themed team right here. So you're like, you know what? Let's just have both ice thematic themed teams actually fight each other to the death. I'm curious to see how this goes. So... That's kind of what we're doing here. Uh, bear in mind, these are again, uh, the regular rule set that I have as of August 28th at 9.26 p.m. Uh, this is not based on the tournament just yet. So um, yeah, again, one thing to note about Melissa's team is that they all, or Melissa and Scotty's team is that they all have uh, Serpentarius. So they all have neutral compat with each other and against my teammates, whereas mine just have a like, good compat with each other overall. In particular, uh, uh, the ninja and the samurai have best compat with each other. So uh, I'm not sure who's going to win this, honestly. Uh, we're just going to have to find out and see. Uh, let's make sure I got my safe seats ready. Okay, there we go. Cool. All right, let's go to... Hmm. Let's go to Delta. Yeah. Yeah, again, I'm, I know I'm kind of in a hurry with these matches, but it just, I obviously work overnights from, you know, Monday through Friday. And, uh, you know, while I'm, you know, right before I, uh, basically I'm grinding on my mobile game War of the Visions all day, because uh, they have the Agrius event going on right now, or the Final Fantasy Tactics uh, uh, second event going on. I got Agrius, I'm trying to grind her up and shit. So I've been doing that basically, and that's why there hasn't been a, like any videos earlier on in the day. And I'm also having to deal with, you know, work and shit. So after tonight is over with, I will have this weekend and then all of next week off for the tournament. And of course, so yeah. Um, wait, symbol bag smack. Let's see. Of course. <laughs> That's fine though. Um, looks like the teams have definitely collided. I would have preferred um, 180 damage is not bad. I think attack up on punch art lancers is a better idea. And I say that because I, I think punch up, well, yeah, I think punch, I think attack up is better on attack up, uh, lancers with martial arts because it'll increase their uh, um, melee damage as well. And unfortunately, a 60%, 50% charm well, worked into his favor. So right now, charm is just single handedly winning uh, Melissa's team right now. So, yep. Yeah, it's uh, it's two v four, and well, effectively five v one right now, uh, because of this charm, and it uh, worked on a ninja, and the ninja is just wrecking havoc on my own team. But that, uh, yeah, a little unfortunate that the charm uh, triggered, and that was the first bit of blood drawn because uh, I'm at a massive disadvantage right now. It is doable to win this, but it's extremely hard. She gets the sleep proc, so chances are my ninja is gonna finish him off. Oh, she went to go attack the ninja. Thank God the charm were off. I'm gonna need that momentum, but I am in a, I'm in deep shit right now because, yep, jump on the lancer. Looks like that's a summon. Oh wait, redirect to the spell. I'm not sure if that lancer. I think the lancer will live. Uh, he should. Yeah, he's in critical though. Redirected the spell, and thanks to the. Uh, yeah, and thanks to the, uh, what am I trying to say? Thanks to the rubber shoes, that full four did no damage to the Lancer. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to go, though. Again, it's up to one ninja with like 11 speed item through item to try to kill everybody. And I just don't know if he's going to be able to do it. He's going to have to dodge everything here. He did dodge one attack. He tried to redirect the spell. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. The monsters are dead. He's going to revive. And it missed at 83%. Oh, man. Berserk? Well, all right. So hopefully the samurai gets a turn and can just heal herself up and run away. Looks like she's just going for a draw. 
Unavoidable damage is always good. Eventually this samurai is going to run out. Oh, race two. And he does get it. All right. Go for a big smack. Thank you. The speed save proc is very nice. Um, not sure. All right. Well, it is 3v3 at the moment. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this off. It's going to be very hard, I think. This ninja's dodging everything, thankfully, because of the Dracula mantle. Charm. Now there's going to be some, uh, yep. Phoenix sounds. Ah, oh, man. Charm fucked it all up. Mm, man. Death sentence. Yeah, so this is guaranteed. The ninja's going down. Uh, and with Charm, it's pretty much going to... The Charm would have to wear off next turn. So it looks like Melissa and Scott are going to be winning this first round. So. Mm -mm. Yep. We're just kind of waiting for... Uh, the death sentence to tick down. This is his final turn. Yep. So we're going to just speed this up. Wait for him to die. All right, cool. Let's go to our uh, small map then. Uh, things are going to play out a lot more differently. And uh, just the just the whole concept of charm. Oh, man. You love it when it you love it when it works, you know, in favor of your team. And then when you are the one who's on the receiving end of it and you're getting charmed actually you know what let's do a different map because i just did that map a couple days ago i did it for the last two videos um yeah but just to finish my train of thought whenever um whenever a charm lands against one of your people it's just like the worst fucking feeling in the world it's like oh my god i'm getting completely slaughtered and it's like ah it landed on my glass cannon who's gonna one shot my whole team now yeah with best compat on the ninja, that's why I was doing like 260 damage despite the defense up proc. Yeah, so there's another charm. And yeah, success we resolved. Now I just gotta like cross my fingers and hope that the charm doesn't fuck anything up. Any counters? No. Uh, break him out of it? Nope, MP switch triggered. So his MP is depleted. Oh, fantastic. I love that shit. I'm sure that's a fire four and it's gonna kill off the blue dragon right here. Yeah, speed save. Um, just again, the fact that charm hit, uh, it delayed everything. And wow, so she went for the ice. I thought she'd go for the fire. I guess the AOE is something, but still, charm is uh, charm is just delayed so much momentum right away. All right, that two hundred five makes sense. She doesn't have a shell or magic to fend up, but we are one for one. But it is slightly in a. It's slightly in uh, Melissa and uh, Scotty's favor because, uh, again, with the Lancer working for them, it's a 5v3 right now. So it just puts me at a numbers disadvantage. And another charm. All right. So we got two charms, and now it's uh, 6v2. Yep. Now it's uh, 6v1, basically. Actually, yeah, it's a 6 on 0 with two charms. Oh, man. I, I'm curious to see how effective charm is going to be in the tournament because if, if, if uh, matches become so so decisive like this in my opinion um, just because of how strong the status effect is after the tournament I'm contemplating on just banning it like no joke because again the problem with charm I think in a nutshell is that its hit rate is way too high at 50% and then if you put a Serpentarius, like, because, like, for the tournament, it's obviously been nerfed so that you can only have a unit with Serpentarius, right? So you can only have it with, like, neutral compat. But what, once, uh, if it does, you know, if you do inflict it on somebody, the payoff is just so massive. Because you just turn, you just turn the, the numbers advantage is just so massive. It's just crazy. Like I said, I'm going to reserve judgment. I'm not going to make a final call on that until I actually see how potent the tournament it is. The tournament results are with Charm. Like, if literally, I'm making shit up. Of the 12 competitors, if the top half of them are all teams with Charm, um, you know, unless there's some compelling evidence like that to suggest um, Charm is as strong as it is, I'm just going to hold off on it. Because I feel like I basically got robbed because of Charm for both of these matches. Not that I'm complaining necessarily about like how these matches went, just the concept of charm of how strong it is. So, 
All right, well, with that said, Melissa and Scotty, congratulations. You take this uh, victory 2-0. Unfortunately, my ice theme team just could not get off the ground whatsoever. Those charms just fucked everything up, but yeah. Um, all right, well, with that said, uh, what is today? August 28th? Yeah, I will uh, see you for tomorrow's video, hopefully earlier in the day when I'm off of work and I don't have to deal with any bullshit. So, all right, I'm going to head out. Um, uh, I'm going to export this immediately to YouTube like I did for the last two videos and I'll update the description over the weekend. I'll try to. I should be able to. So, yep. Yeah. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.